Being in the dark in an unfamiliar place can be very frightening. It can cause great fear. But praise be to God, because of the word of God, because of the Bible, we have a fear eviction notice. And in fact, that is the name of this week's blog. So welcome to the audio version of the Fresh Fire International Ministries blog. Okay. And again, the title is Fear Eviction Notice. God does not stutter. So if God said, fear not, approximately 365 times in the Bible, then there must be something to it. Fear will fight to step into your life, whether through politics, health, pain, terrorism, media, relationships, finances, impending weather, court cases, temptation, and on and on. Yet God has given you a preemptive fear eviction notice. Preemptive means that you already have the legal right and power to overrule fear's claim. And eviction means you have the legal right and power to command fear to leave your life and then to lock it out. So look fear in the face and wave your notice. In the Bible, Jesus told Peter, that's in Luke twenty-two thirty-one. He said to Peter, Satan has asked to sift you like wheat. And that means that Satan would send fear to weak spots in Peter's character, spots that Peter did not even know existed. And Jesus continued, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. To paraphrase, Jesus was saying, Peter, you are bold and committed to me, yet you will experience fear. But my prayer for you serves as a preemptive fear eviction notice. And we can use it whenever we need to kick fear out of our life. Today, that prayer of Jesus continues. It continues to cover you, to cover me, to cover all the people of God. So now you own that preemptive fear eviction notice. So wave it in fear's face. In the Bible also, the woman with the expensive perfume in an alabaster box, she searched for Jesus and she found him in a home where he was dining with elite, high-ranking men of the town. That's in Luke 7, 36 through 50. She poured the valuable perfume on Jesus' feet and washed them with her hair. The men started holding an impassioned conversation in their minds, silently calling the woman despicable names, names like prostitute, whore, filthy, unclean, worthless. And the men also silently wondered about Jesus. How could a man of, or a prophet of God not discern that an unclean woman was touching him? That culture in that day believed that when something unclean touched something clean, both became unclean. And by the way, by the way, if those men might, those men might be called judgmental church folk if they were alive today. So we still see those kind of people today. The woman could have feared that they would grab her and throw her out. You know, insulting words, spoken or silent, can be as violent as physical attacks because they can cause ongoing bleeding in your self-esteem and in your soul. Jesus rebuked those judgmental church folk, and he embraced the woman in his heart, and he declared her clean. As he said, your sins are forgiven. So as with Peter, Jesus' words gave the woman a preemptive fear eviction notice. So she no longer had to fear what anyone said or thought about her. And it is the same for you today. You know, fear is a spirit. So wave your notice in fear's face. Fear is a real thing. It's real. We live in a dangerous world. So we must use prayer, wisdom, common sense, and earnestly try to live as Jesus demonstrated. When fear fights to get into your life, do like Peter and do like that woman. Reach into your back pocket and wave your personalized preemptive fear eviction notice. That notice will say, it will read, fear not. 
I will never leave or forsake you. I love you. Stay strong. Stay the course. Your victory is near. And you will see a signature at the end of that eviction notice. And the signature will read, Jesus, your eternal Lord and Savior. So fear not. Thank you for listening to the audio version of this week's Fresh Fire International Ministries blog. God bless you. We love you.